Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. This is going to be a really interesting video. Uh, I'm actually about to go and drive uh, to meet up with my buddy Travis. Uh, you guys will see Travis today in this video. If you guys uh, don't remember, two years ago, me and him, we actually bought a broken old school BMW 3 Series E36. And uh, you guys can see the playlist right here. It was actually a really fun project that we did with him. And we saved that car up from the junkyard and stuff like that. But anyways, when we bought that car, we bought it from... Uh, our friend uh, from the impound lot so that friend is actually like he needs our help right now so we're gonna go in a little bit and we're gonna help him fix this uh, chevy truck that he has and that truck's been sitting for quite a while and apparently it has a coolant oil leak and needs a bunch of cleanup so we just want to help him out and we're gonna, you know travis has all the tools that's got travis and uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna go and have some fun today so hopefully we can fix that truck uh with you know hopefully we don't have to tear the whole engine apart and stuff like that so we'll see what happens but it should be a fun video stay tuned what <laughs> oh shoot <laughs> what do you got bro damn so you've been what running around today or what I'm gonna work today. You look tired too. Shit. Works a bitch. Oh, yeah? you're recording everything. I am wow. recording everything. I just got done moving. <laughs> I'm done moving. <laughs> you guys remember this guy? We fixed that uh, broken BMW together with this guy, with this Jatska. <laughs> Don't mind my hair. Hey, it's good, bro. It's been a long day. It's been a long day in California. Yeah, Super I, hot. Yeah, I haven't really finished moving, and the rest mm -hmm. of the shit I just kind of threw. Well, that's cool. So that's your new trailblazer, huh? That you were telling me about. Yeah. You picked up for how much? Three hundred fifty dollars. Three hundred fifty. What yeah, did it need? Uh, needed a water pump and a radiator. Damn, that's and not. That's a great deal, I ended up man. Doing the whole suspension on it. Yeah, uh, for sure. Fan clutch. These are good trucks, I mean. Sensors and shit. Uh-huh. You know. Nice. Hell yeah. 350 bucks. Yeah, YouTube, so. hey, YouTube, yeah. I'm gonna beep that stuff. Beep! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Travis in the video. Travis uh, Zatska likes to cuss. <laughs> For sure. But yeah, not a bad little trade blizzard. I mean, this, I replaced the bumper. So mm -hmm. This is all cracked. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I can. On it not too long yeah, ago. I see the new tires, too. Um, sweet pretty much a whole new cooling system you know yeah it's a good truck um, for sure lots of oil changes how often uh, let me ask you how often do you change oil it personally oil change right now but yeah. i change this every every couple thousand miles that's good a lot. i like to change oil every three thousand miles or so i mean because a lot of people don't understand that you actually uh like you like if you change oil at 3000 miles it's not actually at 3000 miles it's more than that because you have to compensate the fact that the car is idling too you yeah. know at its stoplight and things like that you know yeah. so oh, yeah, the hardest thing about this thing was cleaning it out yeah it was really yeah, filthy on the inside man, oh i bet <laughs> i bet i bet remember uh, on one of the cars you know um classic mercedes uh, i had to pull the uh, rear seat out uh, like the whole like cushion and then yeah. underneath it had a bunch of french fries and it had a, a syringe bro oh, believe that yeah, <laughs> yeah this thing, uh, sweet car it's dirty right i got all the stuff for the yeah that's cool but... so we stopped at some gas station because travis needed some energy he needed some red bull we're about to see him come out with a crazy energy drink where's he at come on one eternity later. Oh, look at him with that energy drink. <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh, look at that energy drink. Hopefully that will make you uh, uh, energetic. <laughs> gives me wings. It gives you wings. He probably didn't expect us both to like show no. up and stuff, huh? <laughs> What's up? got all tall. Hop in. I'm about to be 17 next Wednesday. Yeah, there you go. Yes, sir. 17, huh? Good no, stuff. Good days right there. All right. Do you need to close it or no? No, it's fine. All right. Let's go how, see how things are. Yeah. Did you have school today or what? Yeah. Oh, there's a dog. Yes, online. 
Oh, okay. What's your dog's name again? Doc. Doc. Dude, oh, you, he's excited to see us. What's up, Ken? How's it going? Fist bump. There you go. Good. Well, finally got some time to see you guys again, you know? We got the battery on the Okay, awesome. Did you get like oil and stuff too? Or? Yeah. Good. All right, guys, so we're here. Everybody's happy. Everybody's doing their own thing and talking. And you know, Logan is happy too. And uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna try and uh, go work on that truck. We'll show that truck to you in a little bit. But uh, so, uh, hopefully, we can get it running. A little sneak peek. There's a problem with the, uh, with the intake. Okay. All, How do you, you know? know? The, holes, the hoses? Okay, there's a hole. Like there's a hole? Yeah. Did that. you actually see it or no? Yeah, I can feel it. Okay, yeah, we'll check that out. We'll see yeah. what, what is up. Just a little sneak peek for you guys. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> it's, it's probably leaking, right? This coolant reservoir has got a hole right there. And a bunch of small bottom. holes too. All right. Well, yeah. we have to figure out what's the leak, what the oil leak is. Yeah. So, yeah, that the coolant is probably leaking from this guy. So we'll need a new one of those or get to use one and uh we'll just have to figure out where the oil leak is coming from so they got the battery they're just charging right now yep. we're gonna tap off the oil because it's low it's below the minimum and yeah this car this truck's been sitting here for like, about two years right something three. like that three years well, yeah. uh, about two i think because i was here last time yeah. two years yeah, ago yeah. but yeah it's this truck and uh it just needs to be cleaned up and detailed and yep. it's fixed and uh it's gonna be a nice truck yep. it's also got uh, 96. 19, automatic. 1996 automatic V8. What is it, 5.3 or 4 point something, right? V8? Um, yeah, something like that. But yeah, that's the inside. It's nice. Right there. Is this clean? Yeah. Mm. We gotta always make sure it's clean. Yeah, we put oil in it uh, a couple days ago. Oil all right the so in the car. yeah you're gonna put oil in that thing go ahead you're gonna be a mechanics assistant today yes sir all Just right like I was in the BMW. Last, time, last time on the bmw two years ago that's true we call it castle mm -hmm. there's a whole bunch of castles in there yeah. um well no we were on tires because there's uh, a whole bunch of tires yeah. Uh, Alright, that should be enough for now. Just hang out. Let's check the uh, level. Okay. I'll get yeah. you. <laughs> Alright, keep going on the oil. Put some more in there. So, yeah, the starter's on this side. And I saw, like, drips on the starter itself. So, I think we have to take this uh, fender liner off so maybe we can see, you know. But either way, we'll have to be started to actually see where it's coming from. That a little bit. Yeah. Well, the, I think we found the coolant leak. They said, it, "Look at this bottle. Like it's all broken right there. You see, oh, on yeah. the bottom too. On the bottom." Yeah. Take this off. Where is this leak? Because it's literally above the starter right there. Like that's something is leaking above the starter. Yeah. So. Yeah. Gotta check. I mean, we have everything topped off. We need to try to start it. Try to see. Yeah, if you can, go ahead. Hold on, before we do that, shine out where you where we were looking down there. Okay. Hold on one second. Yeah, it might be that pressure sensor. I was gonna say. I mean, I'll, I'll be able to see if anything. Because then we would see more oil up here. Yeah. This is like a back corner. Well, either way, we'll have to start yeah, it to see. Let it run, let it run. Yeah, 
Yeah, watch out. What happened? I think I'm getting a little too big for this track. Too big, yeah. <laughs> you got oil pressure in there. Uh, Let's see, that should be oil pressure, okay. What? That's the coolant. It's leaking right there. So, I mean, there's a bunch of oil leaks right there, but there's an oil leaking down there. See that drip? We're about to see where that's coming from. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna look in a second. Come over here, Tom. You see this right there? Yeah. What is that? That's oh, shoot. It's coming from up top somewhere. It's pretty frothy, too. What is that? That looks like some milkshake. Yeah. There. That is interesting. Okay, let's hey um that. logan i need you to go inside and just watch the temperature gauge okay make sure the truck doesn't overheat you right. know where the temperature is the yeah. sensor okay the gauge that's uh that's the transmission parent so it's coming back from the bell highway. so it's from somewhere from the top, from the top of the, the so we gotta look here. deeper where exactly it's coming from that is a sensor for sure leaking out uh, yeah, I don't know if I can pick it up on the camera, but it's all the way deep in there. But you can see the drips coming from that sensor. Literally. Like right there, it's hard to see, but that is a sensor leaking. Outside the engine, they will make it. Yeah, so we're gonna take this uh, air cleaner off and everything, and we're gonna get to that sensor and either replace whatever the sensor or the o-ring i don't know what's in there i'm gonna get this car this truck rolling 10 always looking for 10. <laughs> yeah so travis is looking for that part right now and i'm gonna be taking this off and ken in the background is enjoying us and the whole atmosphere <laughs> what need the adapter and all that give me extension if you have an extension. I got that big of it. Uh, you don't have anything else, right? Okay. Give me that extension that, yep, there, right there. Okay, Logan, put this somewhere. Yeah, it's a 15 Yeah, it's a So. Say again. Okay. So it's a really big pain because that pressure, well pressure sensor is on the on, like next to that uh, this this chibiter, so it's not easy to get your wrench in there. So we're gonna try our best. Right you here. want me to keep the light on it? Yeah, so? you're good. Okay. We're fine. So yeah, it's all the way down there. Let me show you. So if you look, if you look, the sensor is right over there. Okay, so I can get it's, it right uh, that's where this sensor is right now that's leaking. So we're trying to get that off. So yeah, focus on both things. Yeah. Well, Dream Team is at AutoZone picking up the pressure sensor, you know? And uh, and then the Navy said we can't wear it. Alright, so we got the socket right there. We're about to remove this sensor and install a new one. Okay, so we got the sensor connected all the way down there. We're about to install these plug wires on the distributor and we're gonna start this car in a little bit or the truck, I should say. And then we'll see if it's still uh, leaking out of that sensor. Should be all good to go now. Some good work in So we got the sensor installed, connected. I'm putting this intake back on. 
which is the other way. Oh, that's a lot of, look at this. We gotta check this air, air box. It's a lot of garbage over there. Yeah, get it on there, be told. Yeah, I'm that good. I connect this uh, master flow sensor. One. And one more. And tap. Cool. And then, gotta tighten the clamps, and there's one more part we gotta put. You're blinding me with the light. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. We got the sensor in. We got it in. Well, we got the sensor in. Da, 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 da. Damn, you're a singer now, Logan? That's crazy. I don't want to be a singer. I want to be a freaking mechanic. Mechanic, follow our steps. You will yes, be. Sir. I only learned from the best. This guy right here. Say what's up. What's up, cheese? <laughs> What's up, jeez? <laughs> uh, hey, make sure you guys subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment. What you think about this process so far? Yeah, process, big process. All right, hang on. I just want to check, make sure it's good. Everything is in. Nothing's in the way. Yeah, all right, uh, ready when you are, go ahead. Make sure that dust cloud. All right, we're gonna wait a little bit now. Check, make sure there's no oil leaks. The dog is already checking for oil leaks. Yeah, it should be good now. Yeah. We're gonna wait a little bit just to be sure. Let's see how's the oil pressure is right there. That's good. All right, let's keep it there for right now. We don't see any more leaks so far from that sensor. So that's just coolant leaking right there in the water actually. So we'll fix that. Just needs a new reservoir. But I don't see any more oil leaks for right now. Oh, look at this guy. He is helping me out to restore these headlights. Look at the difference. Oh, it's yeah. getting there slowly for sure. And this is my first time doing it too. Guys. Yeah, he's so learning. He's learning from me. <laughs> sure the hose is long enough. The rest of it out. Oh. All right. All right, guys. Now we're going to be washing this thing making it nice so it needs it a lot it's been sitting for a while we're gonna make it clean everything All right, guys, we messed off the headlights and I'm about to start uh, clear coating them. And they're all prepped, clean, dry. Um, and we're going to clear coat them in a little bit. And we 
power wash the car a little bit you know the truck so it looks fresh and then after we're done with the headlight restoration we're going to clean the engine bay and all the other good things make this thing nice all right and uh, logan right there is actually installing the uh chrome strip right now so yeah all right we're gonna clear coat these right now all masked off so should be really nice after i'm done with this okay all right first coat is done all right film a little closer look how nice it looks all right we're gonna wait for this to dry about five minutes and then we're gonna keep going and we're gonna do a couple more coats at least or two or three more and at the end i mean this should be really nice and look how shiny really nice, this is uh, guys headlights you know they, these used to be so yellow and ugly right now oh, we're gonna yeah. transform all these things all right so we're gonna just uh, start with that and then we'll move on to the other headlight all right guys we're just uh, continuing to work on that truck just having a lot of fun you know helping some friends out over here in central california and uh you know the plan is that uh ken wants to ken wants to sell that truck so i want to help him out you know he's handicapped right now so i want to you know i already we already fixed the oil leak on it uh the oil is all tapped off and everything right now uh and the coolant there's no coolant leaks actually we had the truck running and all that stuff so right now we're actually cleaning the outside of the car of the truck and we are actually i'm uh restoring his, his headlights so i want to make this truck really nice for him so he can put it for sale sell it and he can he wants to get a car that's actually you know he actually wants to get a like a diesel mercedes or something but uh you know i told him it's either that or he can you know get like a, some really good economical car like some honda civic or something so he will figure that out but my goal right now is i just want to help him you know to get this truck rolling and all that stuff and uh yeah other than that i'm enjoying the california weather it's today was a really like cool day uh here in central california it wasn't too hot so it's pretty amazing you know because usually it's so hot here in central cali but today the, the weather was just amazing and we have a couple other like shops right there actually like there's an automotive shop and it looks like like uh, el camino over there so you know people are having fun people are working you know on various projects and things like that and same thing us right here mainly it's myself and uh, logan is helping out you know so yeah well, maybe maybe logan will become a, a car mechanic someday so we'll see but uh yeah that's how things are today here so we got the headlights all restored and nice and now we're gonna clean this engine bay which is super filthy you know from all the desert in california so we're uh we're gonna clean it up it's gonna be nice Oh, still cleaning time trash, cleaning man. time yep we're about to vacuum this stuff all right guys so here is the current progress all right uh, as you can see the truck is literally getting all its love right now uh so uh, I didn't finish we didn't finish cleaning this just yet uh, but as you can see we started cleaning everything right here the dashboard so it looks really nice and amazing right now and the seat is out because we are uh, vacuuming vacuuming and scrubbing this uh, carpet and stuff and we were cleaning all this area you know as soon as we're done cleaning all this stuff i have some conditioner i'm gonna put on the dashboard and everything so all this stuff is gonna be nice and shiny and good to go all right um like i said guys just a reminder i'm helping them uh right now i'm helping them to uh get this truck ready for sale okay so yeah we're cleaning the bed we're cleaning like everything today like the most important task is to finish the interior condition the interior and put the seat back on and clean the bed and also wash the whole truck okay with the soap 
Um, so yeah, as you can see, this is California, so everything literally gets dusty um, super fast. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, that's kind of how everything is. Uh, as far as the leaks, there's no leaks. Um, absolutely zero oil leaks and zero coolant leaks. All right. Uh, the only thing is, yesterday I came here and I saw like a puddle right there. So I'm like, what is that? So what actually ended up happening is there was like some there was like a bottle of oil here and it started leaking out so we'll have to power wash that um and yeah i cleaned up the engine bay a little bit all right and we charged up the battery yesterday so it should be good to go i just probably i'm gonna go ahead and clean this so it looks nice and presentable and i don't know if i showed you this but they installed a new coolant reservoir because the old one was it had holes in it all right and also they restored these headlights they look pretty good now uh, as you can see it's amazing this truck is coming back to life all right uh, there's that seat right there and honestly saying i just really love this place it's like a it's like a shop you know like it's awesome I really like this thing all right check out the dog check out the dog hey dog yeah the dog likes to uh, help us out as well with all this stuff so it's pretty amazing all right i'm really excited to finish this truck up and uh yeah i'll show you everything later once we're done and should be amazing I'm are you that good you're that good I'm yeah guys we're, we're cleaning this thing it's it's getting there it's uh becoming really nice and also this dashboard i just uh, conditioned it I still have to finish it, but it's uh, nice and shiny now, really clean and everything. We'll show you some more tomorrow, probably uh, during the daylight, but it's good stuff, right, Logan? He's also yes, helping sir. me. He's, hey, he's working guys, out. Make sure you guys subscribe to Vito's Garage. It'll be linked down right here. Yeah, or in the description. Or in the description. <laughs> Who knows? Depends on my mood. Drop a like, drop a comment what you guys think about this. Yeah, so, there you go he's that good I'm but that good. anyways so we still have to condition this door panel because i already cleaned it up but it's just like kind of faded from all the sun but i'm gonna clean it up not clean it but just uh, condition it and then uh yeah the carpets are looking really good i just have to wash this area right here uh also condition like this right here all this stuff it's uh, becoming go? becoming a really nice truck All right, Logan, let's right. change this thing before we play another game. All right, I brought him this thing because I saw this thing is broken. 